Now, it's already going a little haywire for the Bills because one of their most potent weapons mm. in special teams, guy who had two kickoff returns for a touchdown in Week 18, that rollicking win over the Patriots, and they had planned to use him more on offense this year. I don't know why they didn't use him more on offense last year, frankly. Naheem Hines out for the year with a knee injury that he suffered on a jet ski. Sitting stationary, I'm told. Somebody else ran into him. There's an issue about what the Bills are going to do when it comes to his money. Now, they don't have to pay him a dime. Non-football injury list, you don't owe him a penny. Sometimes we've seen players get paid out of the goodness of the hearts of ownership. Remember when Teddy Bruschi had a stroke? He was on the non-football illness list. The right. Patriots paid him. Right. The question is, how much money are the Bills going to try to claw back from Naheem Hines because of this incident that happened on a jet ski? They would argue it's inherently unsafe. He shouldn't have been doing it. And any injuries that happen violate his contract and he has to pay back bonus money. There's there, there's a potential fight there and they're trying to work out a resolution. And I think some of what the Bills are doing is just kind of alluding to what they could do. And I'm told that they mentioned they could even try to get one and a half million in signing bonus money to receive from the Colts under his deal that was ripped up and replaced with a new contract this year if push came to shove on this. And I think they're just trying to work it all out. And from Hines' perspective, his agents are trying to get him properly taken care of. It's a tough position, but here's the bottom line. The guy is presumably going to be healthy next year, and he's under contract for next year. You want him to feel good about what they're doing this year, so he feels good about being on the team next year. Uh, yeah, exactly right. I mean, that. I mean, here's the, the, the little comment from his agent, right, where... You know, obviously there was something there, conversation he had with the Bills and company that he did not like, and he felt like they were going to maybe screw over his client, and that's why he tweeted that little statement out. I mean, come on, we, we don't have to, you know, read between the tea leaves and that one, right? So we know that there. But th th here's my thing, Mike. Like, like it, first off, this is where we got to find something here that can help. Like, players have to live life. Like, Half the people in that Bills locker room rode a jet ski this offseason at some point, right? Now, an accident happened. Like, if, if they found out that he was doing jumps and 360s and doing flips with the, like, then okay, fine. That's beyond stupid. And yeah, maybe you need to take some pay away. But by all due accounts, what we're hearing right now is somebody else was the idiot and he was just sitting there and they drove in, they didn't know how to control the jet ski and they drove into the side of his leg, right? And stuff like that, that's where I wish the teams, yeah, did have a soft spot in their heart there. It, it, to me, like, you know, hey, if you're out skiing and you're going down a huge mountain and do that and tear your ACL, well, that's stupid. And then, then that, that you, yes, you should be held accountable there. You're playing basketball, you know, pick up basketball four days a week and you tear an ACL or an Achilles. Okay. Yeah, that, that to me too. But when it's like normal life stuff, that, you know, you're not – you don't see people tear ACLs on the jet ski ever. It's a rare thing. That's where I wish, you know, the human aspect would come in a little bit, and I just don't know if that will happen here. It would be interesting to see. The signing bonus language that teams use is unnecessarily duplicative. It will list all of the various things that are inherently dangerous activities that you can't engage in lest you risk losing your signing bonus money. But if you just get yourself injured and you can't practice and play anyway, you're still in breach of your contract and have to pay back the signing bonus money. Now, my understanding is jet skiing is not specifically listed on the things you can't do. And jet skiing itself isn't inherently dangerous in New York you only have to be 14 years old to get a license to use a jet ski. Yeah. And no. my understanding is he was stationary and got rammed into. He was at right. the dock stationary and he got rammed into. So, but but again, but again, and, and this, is the, this is the tension. These guys have to live their lives. But any injury you suffer while living your life that keeps you from playing and practicing football puts your money at risk. So there's a balance there that I you know. need to strike, and you just need to hope you get lucky. Yeah. Remember when we saw the video of Lamar Jackson with with a bunch of kids on, on a basketball court, oh, and yeah. he was defending. No, he was on, he was on asphalt, and he's, like, running routes and defending guys and cutting and all. It, I mean, it, it just it, it makes your heart stop because you think, holy crap, any injury there is going to screw up his opportunity to get the money that he is due 
at this point in his life to be paid, but guys still have to live their lives. Exactly. That's the balance. It's, it's hard. Bills it's hard. and Naeem Hines have to work yeah. that through. Yeah. The and key is this. Yeah. If they want him on the team next year and they right. want him to be happy, they need to find a way that he feels good about how they deal with this situation in 2020. Yeah, that, that, that's the that's the truth right there. And, and and I think the thing that bothers me sometimes is I feel like star players get away with these. Like Terrell Suggs plays basketball, Ravens do nothing. You know, Juwan James, remember him, not a star. You know, I think some disgruntled people in Denver about how much money he was paid. He got hurt doing what? It was, I, I want to maybe say playing basketball too. Oh. Well, no, 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 was no, just no, working no, out. no, no. He was working out on his own. Right. And his argument was that the trainers told us here is what you should do. And it got into a big fight between the Broncos and James over whether or not they were going to pay his salary yeah. because he got injured That's away from work doing the workouts that the Broncos gave him to do. Right. That, that should never be. I mean, guys doing workouts, getting better at their craft, working what the coaches and the organization are always preaching and then it be held against you. That should never happen. But yeah, hopefully they come to a, an agreement here for Naheem Hines. So unfortunate. Feel bad for the guy. You know he's been uh, screwed over a little bit, but lack of playing time and the Colts and all that. And we thought this was the year that he'd get used properly. And it's just unfortunate it all happened. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.